soaked. We see it, taste it, and hear about it every day, and we may not realize this most of the time. But what is so important about salt? In ancient times, Roman soldiers were paid partially with salt. This was their salarium. This is where today's word salary comes from. Beside that, salt in the form of sodium chloride is extremely vital for our bodies to function properly. Salt influences fluid volume in our bodies. Salt also helps the brain to send electrical signals and transport nutrients between cells. Basically, our body loves salt, and that's why we love salty food. But like all things, too much is never good. The recommended daily intake of sodium is between 1600 milligrams to 2300 milligrams. This is about 4 grams of salt or roughly 1 teaspoon. Unfortunately, with today's busy world and growing trend in fast food consumption, we are getting too much salt in our everyday diet. According to the Heart Foundation, Australians on average consume around 3000 to 4600 milligrams of sodium per day which is twice the recommended daily intake. Surprisingly, 80% of our sodium we consume is added during the processing of foods. Two slices of white bread contains around 300 milligrams of sodium, while a bowl of cornflakes contains as much salt as a small packet of plain chips. A tablespoon of soy sauce contains 900 milligrams of sodium, which is almost half the recommended daily intake. So how does having a lot of salt affect our health? Remember how we said that salt is important in the regulation of fluid? Well, salt helps the body to retain water, hence maintaining our blood pressure at normal range. But when there is too much salt, excessive water is retained and this results in high blood pressure or also known as hypertension. Prolonged consumption of a high salt diet causes constant hypertension and this causes damage to the blood vessels. This can lead to build of bacteria in your vessels, leading to serious heart condition namely angina, heart attack and stroke. Scared? Don't be, because the power is in your hand, literally. By reducing your salt intake, you can reduce the risk of these health issues. You can minimize the sodium intake by avoid adding salt to food at the table or when cooking, buying mainly plant-based food, foods processed without or with low or no added salt, using salt substitutes like food acids, spices and herbs. Potassium chloride salt is another alternative, but you should talk to a health professional before substituting this as it can interact with drugs that you may be taking. Learning how to read nutritional information panels on food packages in order to determine sodium content. It is quite easy to identify amounts of salt in a product. Salt is labeled as sodium in the nutritional information labels found on food packaging and the amount displayed is based on average quantity per serving, percentage daily intake per serving and average quantity per 100 grams. The Australian Food Standards Code classifies low salt foods as those containing less than or equal to 120 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams. Although it may seem like a big adjustment, but it is as easy as reducing your salt intake one shake at a time. So shake the habit, say hold to salt.